here in the kitchen today with Chef West Step from Red Sky Cafe in Deck, North Carolina, today making a couple of Carolina classics with a Red Sky twist. Welcome back. Thank you. What are you going to make for us today? Uh, I'm going to make something uh, that you like today. Okay. <laughs> okay? I so, like everything you make. Well, we're also we're going to focus a little bit on uh, some lunch stuff that we do because okay. we're open for lunch mm -hmm. as well, and we do a lot of this stuff on caterings as well. I'm doing some different kinds of sliders, tuna, crab Ooh. cakes, uh, black Angus beef, and we make our own pork barbecue there at Red Sky, and I'm going to hook you up. Do you now? Okay, well, remember, I can help out. I can stand the heat in the kitchen, so we'll get started on that when we come back. I got Thanks you. Wes. Welcome back to the Hampton Road Show, everyone. In the kitchen with one of our favorites, Chef West Step from Red Sky Cafe in Duck, North Carolina, making a couple of Carolina classics with the Red Sky Twists. Something fun, some finger foods, some sliders, but we're kind of uh, changing it up a little bit. Yeah, we're changing it up. I'm doing a lot of, like, fancy dancy mm -hmm. stuff, So, but we also got some real down-to-basic stuff. And, of course, we do a lot of catering at the Red Sky Cafe, and mm -hmm. a lot of people want kind of like, especially for the rehearsal dinners and stuff, yeah. either a Carolina pig picking, which I might do next time. Okay. And um, also, uh, sliders are really popular. So, of course, once again about the slider is we do an interesting little twist. This is crab cakes. Okay. Got the recipe on there. Mm -hmm. I use a little bit of Pam, a little olive oil down there. And I'm just pan searing them on both sides. Okay. And one thing about the burger, you think, well, that's a burger, it's a burger. I got a little kosher salt and cracked pepper on there. But the other thing is really simple when you're doing this at home, it's how you make your burger. Okay? Oh, you there's just actually make a, a trick to it. All right. Yeah, well, okay. one, one of the big tricks is <laughs> pat from the center, keep your sides all even going around. That way it cooks even. Okay. And it doesn't, you know how they pucker up sometimes mm -hmm. and it's like all of a sudden it's like a meatball? Yeah. The <laughs> heck with the meatball, we want the burger. Right. Okay? So. I'm going to put a little bit of cheese on there. I know you kind of like this kind of food, too. Are you kidding you? me? Yeah. Yes. You told me. You said, hey, I'm I said, can you do some burgers? Stuffed or potatoes or whatever <laughs> breakfast I'm you want me to do also. a potato girl, yes. Now, the other thing is with sliders, I'm, of course, this is just basic food that you'd mm -hmm. have. But, of course, I made it all laid out. I did a macaroni uh, salad with ham. You're going to get to try that. We make a homemade potato salad down there. It goes out with every lunch. Do you now? That thing rocks. Okay. I've got all fresh stuff from curry tuck spinach. we got our tomatoes. We're going to have some fun with the garnishing thing. And is that blue cheese? That's blue can cheese. Can I have a little blue cheese on my burger? You can sure have a little blue cheese. <laughs> you got cheddar and blue cheese yeah, now on your yeah, burger. I'm just kicking it up a notch. All right, so what's this little concoction That's I'm mayonnaise. about to make? Okay. Now, I'm going to put this in there, and this is wasabi. Wasabi. Ooh, and I got a little bit of rice wine vinegar in that mayonnaise. Okay. Whip it up, babe. All right. So what we're doing is we're making some condiments for our burgers and stuff. Now, another one that I made was I took sriracha, which is that red paste right there, that okay. Thai garlic chili paste that you can get at any Asian market or anywhere you want. Okay. And I mixed like a tablespoon with about that much mayonnaise. And I've got a sriracha aioli, which you tried that first time I was Yes, with you. the very first time you tried you the aioli. you sweetened it up with your finger. I remember <laughs> <Stop>. that. <laughs> and um, so we got that. We've got our tomatoes, right. julienne, rather than the So this is going to have sliced. a little kick to it. Yeah, it's going to have a little. that was a lot of wasabi. Yeah, but it's not going to be that bad. Okay. you got to get all those lumps out of there. You might just really tear somebody up. So okay. anyway, then, boom, let's go ahead and play with them. They're done. That wasn't long at all. So no, I see why this is a good, quick uh, meal to make, especially for rehearsal dinner or folks coming in. Um, I'd make them right on site. Okay. We do slider stations. Then they can go ahead and put everything they want together. Now, what I'm using is basically I love these little uh, potato rolls. You like potato rolls? I love potato rolls. Yeah, they're nice and soft. Mm -hmm. That's key is your bread. The next thing we're going to do is when I do the barbecue, I'm going to do them with a silver dollar, uh, sort of a southern biscuit. Oh, it's sort of another delivery system, and we're going to heat those in. up with a little butter. Yes, because whatever I need this pan in my life. Do you see this? This is awesome. It's nice, yeah, isn't it? this is real nice. So I'm going to eat the sriracha. Okay. Ooh, sriracha. So that's it. Lettuce. And the you little blue it. cheese one is mine, Chris. So I got you Hands burgers. <laughs> so we're going to do the tuna and the pulled pork. We're going to do guys the tuna do and the pulled pork at, your, um, at the restaurant you're shopping. At the Red Sky Cafe. Run. And we're also going to talk about something that you were into. We were kind of leading up to it, a competition. You know, we have to... Uh, Look at her. You're rocking, babe. Just a little bit. All right, we'll get started on that. We come back. Thanks, Chef Wes. Thank you. Welcome back, everyone, in the kitchen with Chef Wes Step from Red Sky Cafe in Duck, North Carolina, making a couple of Carolina classics with that Red Sky twist. We got started on our little sliders, the crab cakes, and the Angus. Yes. Now, what's next? The tuna and the pulled pork? Tuna and the pulled pork. All right, let's go. Let's get it cracking. Okay, so 
basically we cook our own pork uh -huh. down we do citrus it's cumin rubbed and it's slow cooked nice okay and then what i do is is i hit it that's just a little bit of water okay we're gonna make this fast you just okay as everything i do it's gonna be fast all right okay we have yellowfin local tuna they're catching a lot of tuna down there on the outer banks mm -hmm. right now okay i'm hitting with a little bit of pam oh you sprayed the tuna i sprayed the tuna gotcha the reason I spray the tuna is because sometimes it burns right off the grill. Okay. If you're out there and you spray your whole grill down, yeah. it's gone. So you spray the product itself. Ah, Okay, good it's tip. seasoned with cracked pepper and uh, kosher, or kosher okay. salt and cracked pepper. Okay, now, southern biscuits. Yeah. What I got is a little bit of butter on the inside of them. I'm going to grill those suckers. You better too. grill those, yes. Those are going to be awesome for you. Okay. Now, my barbecue sauce. Is this I, like secret barbecue sauce? Not really. Okay. It's not going to be secret anymore because <laughs> I'm telling you what I got. <laughs> Basically, what I did was I take hoisin, rice wine vinegar, okay. crushed red pepper, and it's going to sweeten it up just a little bit. All right. And it keeps it nice and moist. So we're going to serve that with a southern slaw. And mm -hmm. I put a little jalapeno in the slaw. Okay. Look at my bread. It's already oh, done. Look, it's already grilled. The grill marks are there. And it brings the warmth. It brings it right back to life. I cooked these last night, so I wasn't baking biscuits all morning. <laughs> and you do a lot of catering. Yeah, I and do this a is, lot of this catering. This is pretty popular. You would say the different sliders. Very popular. Mm -hmm. Late night munchies. Yeah. Um, rehearsal dinners. We do a lot of like laid back stuff for rehearsal dinners down there on the beach. They just want to get kicked mm -hmm. back, you know. And you had a little cooking segment um, or the demonstration that you're the cooking class you were talking about. That was real successful for you. Yeah, it was real successful for the for the people who who attended it mm -hmm. as well. Levi, who's my was my trainer for this competition that yeah, I did. Which we're going to talk about, I ladies. Know, we're talk we about haven't forgotten. <laughs> and um, basically, uh, he he laid out this diet for me for the last 12 weeks. Yeah. I've eaten this bodybuilder's diet, so mm -hmm. I see these cupcakes and stuff you got oh, in here. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's this tempting. week I. I Oh, eating you can like eat. Oh, okay, oh, all right. Pizza, everything. I'll get back on again in a week, but it gives my body a chance to rest and relax okay. and just go out and enjoy. How long were you on that strict diet or the eating plan? I did plan? the whole transformation in 12 weeks, and basically I was on the diet, and I made the food really good, but it's nice to be able to pull over and get a piece of pizza. Which, uh, you see him with the chef coat, but under all of that, ladies. Is, oh, oh I think I'm going to take it off. Can we show that one more time? That is you at the competition. It was your first one. First one. How was it? How would you like it? Well, you know what? You, it's kind of cliche-ish, but the journey is the destination. Mm -hmm. The 12 weeks to get there was amazing, and it took teamwork. It's an individual sport, <laughs> but my trainer and the gym that I worked out at. <laughs> so I was saying I'm he's going to come in here and say. I'm going to need a little uh, help. <laughs> Chris, he, can you pass the aioli, you please? You can definitely pass the aioli. You got tickets to the gun show. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was Chris. That was uh, Chris into the competition, if you guys didn't know. You know so. what? That's what it looked like when you killed that soft shell last time I was up here. He was that like, was good. Kudos to all the folks back in the control room who did that. Uh, pretty sure Kyle Bloom, Andy, and Susan had something to do with that. That's the guy all that beat right. me. Hey, uh, what we got over here, I don't want to change the subject, okay. but what we got is I put a little avocado down on the potato rolls okay. and your wasabi aioli, and it's going to go great with the tuna. Awesome. Look at how nice the grilled tuna came so out. So that was, that was pretty And quick. it's medium rare because Chris needs his meat rare mm -hmm. with that physique. <laughs> and then we got the barbecue going. Now this is the bomb. This is Jeff. It's the bomb. dot com. All right. I'm feeling that. I'm interested to see what your potato salad tastes like. I can't wait for you to try. It's probably one on of top. the most popular things that we have. Is it now? Is the potato oh. salad? I just get Little the taste Rosa early. makes it. Little girl we got in the back. She's been with me for 11 years. Trust me. There's no seafood in it. Okay. Come on. This is the second time you fed me on the show. You do know that. I know. Okay. We got this is good. I got to wrap it up. There you Red go. Red Sky Cafe is open daily. Of course, lunch, dinner, and cocktails, 1197 Duck Road in Duck, North Carolina. Reservations and information, you can always go online, redskycafe.com. Give them a call, 252-261-8646. Red Sky Cafe in Duck, North Carolina, or just a day trip away in West Step. I'm going to get a couple ladies in there just because just after today. Up. All right. Thanks, Wes. There you go. <laughs>